This is the back of the tractor. You got your two bottom lifting arms and you got your top link there. I'm gonna try to make something that fits there and will be functional. So I went to Radco today, picked up a few pieces of metal and stopped at l m Supply for a few little bolt-on parts and a receiver hitch. I plan on making a three-point hitch for the tractor so that it can be made to haul trailers and used as a ballast box. We'll see how this goes. I feel like welding is very similar to pinstriping and painting. You need to have a steady hand, keep nice fluid motions, and know where you want to end up before you even start. Thank <laughs> you. 
product. I still have yet to paint it. Uh, I didn't like the designs that were available out there for a ballast box or a three-point hitch. They are very expensive, some of them over $500. I think I have about $150 tied up into this, although I have quite a bit of time, so it all depends on what your value of your time is. I designed it so that these doors can open and you can put chunks of lead in here. Uh, we'll all be using a lot of our old race car lead. Since we're not racing anymore, here's a chunk. And they're about 10 inches long. Slide them in there. And close the door. Uh, that way you can put lead in, take it out. You can adjust how much weight you want back here. Sometimes ba ballast boxes you fill with sand, which you're kind of stuck with a bunch of sand in there. Uh, I also put this hitch on here so you can haul a trailer if you want. It's easy enough to, to raise and lower the three-point hitch so you can get underneath a trailer and scoop it up. Just typical re receiver hitch here. If you want something, just make it. You don't have to buy everything. Uh, I spent got a couple days in on this. Like I say, $150 probably by the time it's all said and done. What was out there didn't necessarily fit my needs. Uh, so I designed something that was more towards my needs, which I wanted. You can do the same. See you next time on Lem Super Speedway.